We are on a ridge coming down southwards. This ridge is called the Yevusite Ridge. It's the location of the ancient city of Yevus, which will be conquered by King David and renamed as Ir David. The place is today known as the Ir David National Park. Let's look on the map and on the picture where we are. We're here in this area here with the numeral one. After David's conquest, it grows up to include number two where the Temple Mount is, and eventually it will grow also to include the area where is number three with the Jewish and the Armenian quarter on parts of Mount Zion. On a more, uh, 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 on a map here, we can see one, Ir David, two, Mount Moriah, three, the extension of the city before the destruction um, at the end of the first temple era. It is over here where um, there is a stepped structure which has been researched for many decades from the 1920s onward into the 1980s. Down there in the 1960s, an amazing discovery was made. Archaeologists found a stone like this. These stones are believed to have been the tops of pillars or doorposts of palatial structures in the Iron Age. Because of this discovery, Dr. Elat Mazar started digging here in the late 1970s and between 2005 and 2007, discovered here on bedrock, meaning nothing old or below it, foundations of a large wall, part of it up to seven meters wide, connected to the stepped structure that we just saw earlier. And the filler in between the stones was, had biodegradable material, which she dated to the 10th century before the Common Era. She also found here pottery remains of Phoenician style, which were luxury uh, pottery uh, remains and also some ivory uh, particles. These things together made her conclude that she found here the palace of David HaMelech. Now, we're going back to the stone that she found here. If she is right, if she is right that we are here in the palace of King David, so we have to maybe imagine what this may have looked like. So let's look over here. We're going to turn this over and see this picture here. This is a picture of a gate from the Iron Age from a palace in Chatzor in the Upper Galilee. We have to imagine something like this stood here. And this picture was taken in the Israel Museum. And over here we have a graphic drawing from Dr. Lean Rittmeyer, a researcher of Jerusalem, who drew this picture here long before Dr. Elat Mazar Bichlal dug over here. If Dr. Mazar is correct that we are here in the palace ruins of King David, then it is over here where David wrote and edited Psalms to heal him. It is over here where he spotted Bathsheba and married her too quickly and was admonished by Nathan the prophet and admitted that he made a mistake. It is over here where he expressed his desire to build the base Hamikdash and was then told, not you, but your son will build it. But if we backtrack just a little bit, it is over here after the conquest of Jerusalem or Yevus, that it was called then and renamed by David as Ir David. And in this palace here, where David celebrated the bringing of the Holy Ark to his capital city. As it says here in the book of Samuel, second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 12. And David was told, that the Hashem has blessed the house of Oved Edom and all that, all that he owns because of the Holy Ark. So David went and he brought up the Ark of Hashem 
from the house of Ove the Dome into the city of David. In Toch, to Ir David, Besimcha. And the verse tells us afterwards, Ve David mecharker bekol oz lifnei Hashem. And David was dancing with all his strength in front of Hashem. Ve David chagur efod bad. And he was just wearing a simple cloth. Ve David vekol beit Yisrael maalim et Aaron Hashem betrua ubekol shofar. And they're bringing up the holy ark with trumpets and shofar blasts. The Hayaron Hashem Ba Ir David, and the Holy Ark comes to the city of David. <laughs>